Hello, my name is Douglas Van Vliet. I am going to be doing this tutorial to help you set up your dynamic DNS with your domain name registered at IONIS and connected to your Synology NAS. Now, I have ran into a lot of issues and I did not see any documentation that shows you how to set up an IONIS um, dynamic DNS with Synology, so I thought I would go ahead and make one. So I hope this will help you. Let's get started. Hello. Welcome to another tutorial. Um, this is going to be how to set up a dynamic DNS with IONIS to use a domain from IONIS with your Synology NAS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and keep moving. Okay, first thing you're going to go to is manage your API key. You'll want to create a new key, and today we're going to be working with nchope.net. So I copied that, and then I took it over here, and I'm going to take off the .net, but I want the nchope to be my key name, so I will know that this is what's connected to the nchope.net. So I hit continue. It brings us to the public prefix and the secret. We have to go over here. We have to copy both of them. So I copy it to my clipboard. And I've already got two over here, so I need to delete it. Okay. All right, now I have both of them copied. So I check, I have copied the key and got it. Okay, so down here, I have the public prefix is down here. So, I have to go to the developer's page, the DNS API. I go to authorize. Okay, now what you do is you copy your first number and then you put it in here. You have to separate the two numbers by placing a period. So I will go grab the other number, a very large number here, and then I will go to the end where my period is, and I will paste the other part, and then I'll hit authorize. Don't hit log out, just hit close. Then you'll scroll down to where it says Dynamic DNS. Okay, you go to Post. And then you click Try It Out. Okay, what we have to do is we have to look back here where our domain name is. Make sure we have it copied because now we're going to have to paste that information we have to paste right here. We'll also paste it right here. Okay. And then right here, we're going to paste what we named the key, but we are take out the .NET, so we just put the NC Hope, and then you hit Execute. 
okay you'll know that it's correct if it has the code 200 you know that the server response was right so you take the updated URL you don't get the quotations you make sure you leave that out and then you copy then you're going to take it in your Synology you are going to uh, add you got to go to the customizer and under NC Hope as you see I've already been in there and done one but you paste that information there okay and then you go down to NC Hope then your host name is going to be NC hope.net that's what our host name is okay now we have to get the other two numbers that we got the first number you actually put in with the username and email I know it really looks like a username or email I never could understand it uh, the second one you put with password and key okay now we'll test the connection now we just have to wait for it okay it says normal we hit okay and as you can see it's normal so now you can actually set up your security and go ahead and set up your certificate you can do all that at this time so I hope that was uh, helpful for you and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us and we will do our best to help you